Let's do it. Welcome back. Let's go back. Uh, let's go straight to the next lesson. Open up your browser. Go, uh, navigate to www.rtconnection.org, and then on the uh, left side menu bar, click on Students. Finally, you'll have to uh, click on the Ventilator for Dummies spreadsheet and save it to your desktop. It won't work if you open it from there. Of course you'll need Microsoft Excel to open this tool. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, download OpenOffice.org, an office suite that's free. Open it in Excel or OpenOffice and click on the tab uh, down at the bottom here that says number 2 IE ratio. Here's the screen capture of that window. You'll notice that I'm using the events uh, via event simulator and I've blocked out uh, all of the irrelevant uh, items right now. I've only left uh, the controls for those things that can affect IE ratio and those things that you would be monitoring. Okay, the first thing that we're going to look at is the respiratory rate. This is where you'll start. Uh, respiratory rate has an effect on IE ratio, not on I, but on uh, IE and E, because the rate is what sets your total cycle time. Notice I have a rate of 10 here, and that's 10 breaths per minute. So if you divide uh, the breaths, 10 breaths equally into 60 seconds, of course, you have 6 seconds for breath. Watch what happens if I change it to 12. Now we have a total cycle time of 5 seconds per breath. Uh, you know, whatever you want to change it to, a respiratory rate of 4 would then be 15 seconds, because 4 or 15 seconds make up a minute. And... Uh, Next, we're going to turn our attention to the eye time and those things that affect the eye time. Let's start with the rate first of 10. Okay, and you'll notice that we have an eye time of 3 seconds here, or a IE ratio of 1 to 1. You can see it graphically represented here, and you can see the, the math here. Now, what were the things that affected the uh, eye time? Well, really, there's two things, and you might think of it like this. This is how far you're going. For example, I live in McKinney, so I drive to McKinney, that's how far I go. This is how fast I drive there, and this is how much time I spend in the car. So, if I were to drive further at the same rate of speed, it would take longer. Or, if I drove the same distance at double the rate of speed, then it would take me half as much time. So, those are the, that's the uh, metaphor that I came up with in order to illustrate the IE ratio, and that is that... Uh, uh, Tidal volume and how fast you're delivering. Now the doctor is going to, or you're going to decide the patient's tidal volume based on the patient's uh, ideal body weight. Uh, general rule of thumb is 10 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. We'll say our patient is about, uh, well, we'll say they're they're this large. We'll say we have a large patient and we've decided to put them on a, a, a tidal volume of 1,000, which is actually pretty big. Uh, because I have a peak flow of 20 liters a minute, I'm only getting an IE ratio of this. So what could I do to correct this IE ratio? Let's say we wanted to make it a 1 to 3 IE ratio because the patient is a COPD. -er. Well, again, I'm going the same distance and I want to cut down how much time is I, so I must do it faster. So let's double our peak flow to 40 and see what happens to our IE ratio. Yeah, now I have an exactly a one, uh, 1.5 second eye time. Uh, what's left over is 4.5 seconds for the total cycle time of 6. You see I have a perfect 1 to 3 IE ratio. And of course this is how IE ratio is derived using these three things. Uh, usually you will be given a, a rate and a tidal volume based on patient size 
and how much minute ventilation that the patient needs in order to ventilate their CO2 adequately. And then your job is then to turn the, in volume ventilation at least, is to turn the peak flow up or down in order to maintain at least a one to two if they're a normal patient or one to three uh, or more. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a, uh, let's say uh, we put a default of 60. As long as the patient can tolerate it, that would be fine, although we have an IE ratio now of 1 to 5. So you can play with this a little bit and just uh, see how it works and uh, demonstrate to yourself how IE ratio affects the settings that you've chosen. And here's a screen capture again for clarity. Thanks. Come back next time.